Hi everyone. This tutorial try to convey how to teach using Zoom application and Google Classroom. First of all, I would like to explain the steps. As a subject teacher, we need to create Google Classroom for our respective subject and for respective class. For example, grade 10 English. You can create grade 10 A or grade 10 B like that. According to divisions, you can create Google Classroom. Then you will be getting a code. That code we need to share with students. First of all, let's see how to create Google Classroom. Then how to get codes. Then this code we need to share to the students through email. So let's start with creating Google Classroom. For that, just open the Google Chrome and you can open your Gmail account or directly you can type Google Classroom. By using your Gmail account, you can enter to the Google Classroom. Here, I have joined with a few classes. If you want to open a new Google Classroom, you can click here and click this plus button. And you can you have two options here, create class and join class. Students can click here, join class and they can enter the code, then they will be able to enter your class. As a teacher, you need to click create class and you need to click this radio button, then click continue, which means they have a lot of terms and conditions. You need to agree that. Here we type great term English. The same section also you can mention. Section A, subject English. The room is not necessary. You can click create. Okay, now it is ready. Now you can see the great term English appeared here and the uh, section also mentioned. After that, you can see class code. So by clicking this button, you will be getting this class code in a, with a uh, bigger font. So this is very important. This code is very important. We will be sharing the same code to the students through email. So students can use this code and they can join into your Google Classroom. This is the first stage. So uh, meanwhile, please note that there should not be any changes in this letters. There should not be capital letters. Now it is all of small letters and numbers. There should not be any changes. So better you can copy can copy and paste in your email then you can send to the students so grade 10 english they can join by using this code okay if you want to uh, change the name of this class or section there are all settings coming under this button here you can see a settings button here you can change if you want to change then if you want to add any class description you can add that also and there are a lot of uh, options. If you want to change the class code here, you can click and reset. If you want to change, normally we don't do that. If you want to change, uh, you can reset. Then another code will be created that you can share. Okay. Then another option is here you can see three options stream. We will see stream later. In stream area, if students need to post and comment, you can click this otherwise if the teachers only need to communicate then you need to click here only teachers can post or comment but suitably you can click students can only comment then teachers can write then you will be getting replay through their comment that's also it's very important okay now once you created the google classroom the next stage is finding the code that we found here and we copy this code and send to the parents or students 
so students can join once the students join you can come to this google classroom here you can see the screen classwork people grades for teachers we will be having four tabs like this but students will not be having this uh, grades will not be there so uh, when we come to stream now we are in stream all the important messages you will be typing here so if you are writing any message then this message will appear in the student screen so easily you can communicate all the important message here not only the message you can share the resources also when we come to class work you will you can see uh, the all the class assignments or the questions or the resources you can share here when we come to people you can see uh, teachers and students here if you have co teachers two teachers teaching in the one grade or one subject uh, in a particular class then you can click here and add their email id then they can also join as a teacher so both teachers will be having same rights in the students if students used their class course and join then all the email id and their name will be appear here right now we didn't share this code to any students so uh, no students are here okay in grades we will see this grade later now most important thing now this is the first step we created google classroom and we uh, created a code now what do you need to do that let's let's go to the zoom application zoom application you can open here zoom okay here you have many options here create an account by clicking here sign up it is free right now they give 40 minutes free uh, if you need to extend that we need to pay now you can uh, login using your gmail id okay once you log in you can see uh, your dashboard there if you want to schedule a meeting you can click here for example tomorrow 10 a.m you are going to uh, have a, a meeting then you can uh, click uh, you can type the topic here uh, your chapter name or uh, the subtopic name you can enter here then if you have any description uh, you can also write that then date uh, you are deciding uh, for example uh, 22nd March the time is yeah time here you can select 10 o'clock here you are selecting a yeah. okay the one of the main benefit is that you will be getting the zoom invitation code now itself then you can share in advance so when that time the live session will be begin that is one of the main merit of uh, scheduling a meeting the duration is one hour which you mentioned here now uh, 40 minutes there is a message you can see okay okay the here a uh, time zone also you need to select here dubai you need to select or wherever you are living that time zone you can select from here and you have to click save and one more option very important if you need to record automatically and you can click uh, record the meet automatically on the computer okay you'll be getting a notification okay now i would like to save this okay once i save you can see there is a url appeared here this we are clicking copy invitation click copy invitation this part is very important copy invitation okay you can copy uh, this message copy uh, meet uh, invitation select and copy or else you can select like this and it will copy okay then we go to the google classroom here we are typing hi students center 10 a.m we'll be having a session of uh, english uh, you can type up that uh, session and the code is available here okay after that after that it is not necessary you, if you need you can have a paragraph or else one sentence you can right click and paste the code which we copied from this tab 
from here uh, copy invitation that you are pasted here then click post okay this is the second stage so this message will be up here here so this message uh, will be visible to all the students who joined here now no students joined that's why we are not seeing any students name here students will be getting email notification also so uh, here uh, they will be uh, seeing this link and they can click here then directly they can enter into the zoom session i hope it is clear so once you click here then zoom meeting will be begin right now i use one uh, meeting so i will not be able to start that we will be uh, explaining another video let's try Well, start this meeting there is a button uh, start this meeting here i have already installed that's why this message come if you are installed uh, the zoom application in your system you can click here now i need to open from browser so i click here then you can click here start from the browser okay uh, it is already in another meeting so do you want to end the if if i if i am stopping this then my other meeting will be the present meeting will be uh, finished that's why i am not uh, clicking this now uh, if you will not you will not be getting this message if you want to join in a meeting uh, you can click here okay then the other settings let's see okay now what we have done that uh, we have ah uh, one more important thing you you can also share the time table accordingly the students can use this google classroom code and they can enter then that's it uh, share uh, zoom link or code through google that's also over and communicate you know if the students are uh, clicking google classroom link here the zoom link then you can see uh, their video uh, you can talk to them the other options will be seeing the zoom uh, how how things are going on now share materials through google when the class is progressing uh, we always share our message as well as our materials through uh, google classroom so the students can use and they can collaborate they can work on that that's we are going to see now